for the second month in a row, Microsoft has proven itself too incompetent to be able to deliver a smooth, stable, or reliable Windows 10 update. What should be like a relatively straightforward uh, process has turned into yet another example of Microsoft's ineptitude. Uh, let's talk about this. This all started last month with Microsoft's uh, KB4540673 update for Windows 10. Uh, even though it was supposed to be somewhat of a minor update, uh, it seems like the patch failed to install for many Windows 10 users, wasting not just time, but also electricity. It would force the machine to reboot itself several times, only to fail the update and roll back the changes. This happened to me, actually, running on my Windows 10 laptop twice. Uh, the, the Windows update tried to apply itself once, failed, uh, rebooted itself to roll back the changes, and then rebooted itself three more times over the next 40 minutes uh, in order to undo the failed update. At first I thought it was just in a boot loop, like that it had failed and I was about to install Windows again on the machine, um, but I just left it for a while and eventually it uh, found its way back to the desktop. But then it forced itself to do an update again while it was just on and uh, it did the same thing. It was stuck in a boot loop for 40 minutes undoing a failed update. But for those who were actually able to successfully install the Windows update, many users reported uh, degraded performance and blue screens of death uh, while not even doing anything with the machine. Well, as if Microsoft hadn't learned anything from last month's debacle, many folks are sharing uh, their experiences trying to install Microsoft's KB5001330 update, uh, the latest patch in the notorious Microsoft operating system. These patches not only fail to install for many users, just like last month, triggering much wasted time and electricity, but they're also to blame for further diminished performance of the machines they've been installed on successfully, ruining gaming sessions and video editing workflows and other like in resource intensive tasks on your computer. And the blue screen of death has become even more of a prominent thing in the once celebrated Windows 10. Now, for those who have installed this update on your machine, you can actually remove it by going to the Windows Update section of you know, Windows 10's settings and just uninstalling it. It's KB5001330. Now, I said this all started last month. This all started last month with Microsoft's... But Windows updates really have been on a steady decline for many years now. Deleting user files, creating boot loops, removing essential features of Windows, the list goes on and on. Now, Microsoft, it seems, has shifted gears away from product integrity and testing uh, and has instead shifting gears to, you know, cloning Google Chrome or uh, buying LinkedIn or threatening to destroy Discord or, you know, whatever the hell else Microsoft does these days. So really, the last two months have kind of been the inevitable consequence of Microsoft's apathy towards their own product uh, that we know as Windows. And that's fine. I mean, it's, it's kind of a sign of the times that, that there really isn't money for Microsoft to make in the desktop operating system. And it's not like, you know, the desktop computing world uh, or the majority of it relies on uh, Microsoft's proprietary and poorly thought out operating system. Um, yet this is more evidence that Microsoft has really ceased caring about the home computing operating system market. Uh, they are focusing more on services like Teams and Office 365 and, uh, uh, you know, LinkedIn and Skype and all the things that, you know, Microsoft really cares about. It really makes me grateful that almost 20 years ago, I started focusing exclusively on uh, Linux. I started focusing on uh, Linux for my computer, for my home desktop computing experience. Uh, I mean, in that time, I have only had one failed operating system update, and that was because I did something wrong. <laughs> and I knew I did something wrong. In that time, the community has shipped more updates for more code than Microsoft has. And it has somehow miraculously had fewer blunders than Microsoft has. And while Windows updates seem to slow down the machines they're installed on, uh, generally speaking, Linux updates tend to speed up the machines they're installed on. So yeah, this is just me gloating, really. Thank you for watching. Uh, I really appreciate you being here. Uh, I wanna know what you guys think though. Do you think that Microsoft uh, should put more time towards testing their operating system? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys.
I want to say thank you to my patrons. If it wasn't for these guys over here, I would not be able to do this. Uh, I want to say thank you to Sheldon Halcom, one of my top tier Singularity members. Sheldon, my dude, without your support, I wouldn't be able to do this, so thank you. If you believe in the work that I do, you can join the people over here who have helped me build this show into what it is today, uh, just by coming, becoming a patron or a channel member. And again, thank you for supporting the show. I think that's going to do it for now, though. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now and have a blessed day.